Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Warhammer Mark of Chaos with me, Grey Hunter. Woohoo! So, what we we're going to do, as I explained in the last video, is we're going to do the Green Dawn optional mission. So, let's get moving. Hello there. The rampaging greenskins have slaughtered the people that lived here and made their camp. There must be vengeance. So again, we don't actually have that much uh, choice for this mission. There's not really any reason to uh, buy any extra units at this point because you only have enough units to fill out the unit roster. So there's not really much point. So we'll just make sure that everyone's points are spent. No, you've spent yours, and you've spent yours. Excellent, excellent. And I'll just pause the recording here, and I will see you guys on, well, on the battle map. Alrighty, so we'll use the setup that we used last time, where we put uh, the right wizard in with a unit. Actually, though, we might put him in with the weaker unit this time, see if we can get them another promotion. So again, they will be group two. I to be sure, to be sure. And we'll put the we'll put Stefan with the halberdiers again, because he did quite well over there. Well, technically, you fight for Stefan, but... Yeah, that. Yeah. Alrighty. No, you lined up. Thank you. Much better. Okay, so end the deployment phase. And we'll advance. thousand years ago, our Lord Sigmar triumphed at Blackfire Pass. Remind the Greenskins of that victory today! Be brave and show no mercy! Now there, what Stefan said was technically a mistake in the game. It won't even feel our bullets! Yes it will. I must find if you get to the flank. Okay, go there. Go there. There will be no respite while one foe anyway, as I was saying, technically what uh, Stefan just said was wrong, because two and a half thousand years ago is correct from the point of view of it being the current time in the Warhammer universe, which is 2522. But this is set in 2301? 2301? 2302? About that time. Would you guys just... Bloody line up. God damn it. <sighs> Just charge. God damn it. <laughs> they were not meant to do that. They were meant to line up and shoot the bejesus out of these guys. Anyway. Good job, Stefan. I go over there. The bright college we shall laugh the scum from the field. There you go. Now you're doing it. Victory is assured. Yeah, how do you like them apples, biatches? Volley fire at them, please. Run away, Mr. Goblin. Jolly good. And those night goblins are a little bit worrying. Not massively so. They're still goblins, but night goblins are a bit more morale. A bit more morale. Good job there. Have a bit more morale. <laughs> okay, so we'll counter charge these orc boys. There we go. And we'll set fire to these goblins. Excellent, excellent. And they dropped some gold. Doubly excellent. So Stefan is doing quite well. He's only lost four men in total. Which is excellent. And the pre the uh, Bright Wizard. I keep going to call him a Warrior Priest. The Bright Wizard has gained another point. So we'll stick that into Fireball. And have him advance. There will be no retreat. Continue the charge. Understood, my lord. 
The bright college offers its aid. Excellent. Right, Sigma. Oh, and to charge. Protect our lands, guard our people. Excellent. Excellent. And they should die. Jolly good. Okay, so this here is a giant, and giants are very, 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 very bad. Very bad news. But we can't avoid it. We actually have to kill every single unit on here, so you sort of, well, I guess you could avoid it, but where's the fun in that? You cannot outrun the flames of feet! No, but we can throw them at you. Actually, that oblique line isn't what I want. We'll line up like that. There we go. Hopefully, he'll come within range. Yep, there we go. Eat fireball. Now, volley fire. Yes, my lord. Stand firm. I will ask for no quarter. We are yours to command. These guys should be able to volley fire. In a moment. Glory okay, to run. Onwards, brave lads. Step lively there. What are your orders, my lord? Come on. Forward like the wolves of all raise your command, General. There we go. Alright. Charge. Get moving, you slug. Glory to the end. No, no, no. Damn it. Okay, there we go, we got him. We took the loss of a few men, but both of these units leveled up. Which is totally worth it. Come on, gather up that item. I must change my position. You gather up the gold? Yes, yeah, so gather up the item. Come on. What is your command, General? Hmm. Apparently we can't gather up the item with Stefan. Maybe the wizard can grab it. Okay. Army now we could go straight in through the center here, but that would probably be a bad plan. We can easily flank them. It's not like it's out of our way. So we'll flank to the side. We await your orders. Oh, I see. It was a item that only he could use. No, I didn't want to do that. Stop it. Where's his backpack? Lord Teclis has taught me the art of fire. Ah, there it is. Okay, so it must be an item that only he can use. Yeah. So that's alright. He's much better at casting spells now. And Stefan has two points. Uh, Storm of Steel. He can unlock a few other um, abilities now simply by being level 5. So, I think what we'll do is we'll put two points into Inspired Leader. Excellent, excellent. And we'll head out this way. Now, hopefully, these swordsmen will level up to level three soon enough. Because that way, we'll be able to uh, fulfill their ranks to full. And that is very much a desirable quality. So we'll head off this way. I think there's also another duel that we can fight. If we come this way. Actually, we might need to fight it anyway, because it says kill the orc war boss. So hopefully Stefan isn't too injured. So what have we got here? We've got some night goblins. Oh no, we don't. We've got some regular goblins. Excellent. Easier to break. Okay. Excellent. Our cause is just, my lord. So what have we got? We've got a war boss here, who's level three. We're level six, so that's okay. And. Some night goblin spear throwers, some orc boys. We should be all right. Defeat is impossible. I must change my. I position. bring destruction to the emperor's foes. Yes, well, advance. Otherwise, you won't be bringing destruction to anybody. 
Hello. The gods have granted Lord, this day to earn right. I said to st Could you just stand there, please? Even there will do. God damn it. <laughs> okay, what about there? Surely you can stand there. Yes, this game can be a little bit frustrating sometimes. Okay, that'll have to do. Hopefully he can fireball them. And then run back. The law of fire is mine to command. Enjoy the fireball, Greenskins. They won't might. We shall rout the scum from the field. Hello. Okay. Goblins are good. We can handle goblins. And volley fire. And fireball. Enjoy. Oh, and there we go. Broken. Excellent. So, you'll notice that there's a little plus sign when you go and hover over a broken enemy. That just is the same as a company of heroes, essentially. If you've broken the enemy, they're a lot easier to fight. So, hopefully, by standing here... He should be able to fireball these guys. Now we will want Stefan to detach from this unit and challenge that war boss. Right. Accept the challenge. Right wizard fall back. Now we don't need to worry so much about Stefan here. He can handle that. So we'll use parry. Because parry is handy. These guys will shield parry. Bright wizard. Fire. There we go. Alright, so we'll use Hand of Sigma as well. Stefan doesn't have to worry so much though. As you can see, Stefan von Kessel. 13 out of 20 hit points. 4 out of 21. He's dead. There's no way. Okay. So I'll just keep charging. There we go. Stefan. Go on the offensive. There we go. Got him. And we'll charge. And we'll have these guys rally up here. Excellent. So there you go. Stefan managed to win the duel, and he actually got a fair bit of experience too, so he should be able to level up fairly quickly. Now we do have to defeat... Well, not really defeat, but we do have to destroy each of these. So we'll set everybody to destroy one. Excellent. And we find some stuff in each one. An item, I believe. So we'll have those guys finish that off. Excellent. Uh, fire on that. And then go collect this. And we'll just keep shooting things. So there we go. Done quite well. All things considered. Uh, yeah, go collect that. And destroy this, please. Actually, Stefan, come help out. Didn't need his help. Excellent. 
And that should be that. I think. Next volley. No? There we go. And you got the Armor of Contempt. Excellent. So a lot of these uh, armors and all that sort of thing are actually from um, the game itself. The um, tabletop battle game. A lot of these items are from there, but I'll explain that after the loading screen, so I shall see you in a moment. Okay, so we found another 3,500 gold, an excellent find. And we completed the optional uh, mission. So we'll enter the town again. It just enables you to go back to the town, essentially. It doesn't really do all that much, but the things that we've found, such as the Armor of Contempt and the Blade of Slaying, Enchanted Armor, etc., a lot of these are from the actual tabletop game. I don't know if this one is from the tabletop game, it might be. But Stefan will need that because he goes into battles more often. <clears throat> so, as I was saying, a lot of these come from the game itself. Like, the uh, enchanted armor is a common magical item that everyone can purchase from the, uh, from the armory of their given faction. So, we'll encounter some unique things to the Empire such as Rune Fang, more on that later, spoilers, and we'll also encounter um, some elvish ones later as well, because we play as the forces of good in this one, which means later on we swap over to controlling the elves. Sergeant, make your Hello. I'm Wolfgang Spitzen of the Olden Wall Patrol. We've been tracking raiders south of here. Count Gruber is ordering a muster of all soldiers in the area. The trail is getting colder. We can join you if that's your order, Captain Von Kessel. Of course. Duh. I always like more soldiers. So, what we picked up here is a unit of huntsmen. Now, huntsmen are essentially militia archers. They have a slightly better range than handgunners, but they're not as good at shooting. Which isn't... Mm, it's not fantastically a problem, because uh, after a while, they'll level up and they'll be better at it. So all we'll do for now is we'll buy them better weapons. So there we go, they've got an increased chance of hitting and a better range, etc. Their morale's about the same. Their range is, as you can see, a bit better than the handgunners. But we don't really need any of that stuff. Um... Apparently they can't have a champion, a musician, or a standard bearer, but that's okay. We don't really need them. Um, but we will get a champion for each of the handgunner units. They probably won't need the upgraded armor, at least not right now, because there's not really much that's fighting them. So, next we head off to Ersterdorf. Hello there. The town of Ersterdorf is been under attack by the forces of chaos. The town is only thinly defended, and its defences have already been breached. We shall fight them. So here, again, we can only take in four units. So we'll take the Bright Wizard, of course, and we'll take our handgunners... Actually, we'll take one unit of handgunners, and we'll take the Huntsman as well, just to get them a level or two. So I will see you guys after the jump.